Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anirudh and today in this web designing session, I will show you how to make animated card using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So guys, first of all, I will show you the preview how it will look like. Okay, so here you can see the card. Okay, so inside this card, you can add images, content, anything. Okay, so now I have added only one text that is 3D card. So when I will hover on the card, you can see based on my mouse pointer, this text it is moving okay and the cart whole cart also moving you can see here okay so this animation i will show you how you can make using html css and javascript and i will write the custom code if you are interested to know how to make it so please keep watching this video and now i will move to my visual studio code editor for writing the code so guys here you can see i have opened visual studio code editor if you don't have visual studio code editor either you can install or you can use any other editor and inside this editor, I have opened index.html file. Here, I will write the HTML code. By the way, I have written already a basic HTML code. If you don't have an idea on this, you can write in the comment section or you can connect me in Instagram. I will provide this code, okay? Or I will explain. By the way, I'm going to make a website. There, I will provide my source code. So from there, you can download the source code easily, okay? And the link will be in description. And inside the style.css file here, I will write the CSS code. So first of all, I will come to the HTML file. And here, I will write section inside this body tag. Okay. And now here, I will write the class and the class name is box. And inside this box class here, I will take an h2 tag. And the content, I will write 3D card. By the way, the class name. You can write anything and the same content also you can write anything it is totally depend on you but guys this html code you have to write inside this body tag and guys this video i'm making for beginner also so that's why i'm explaining all the thing okay so this one is done now i will do save and i will come to the css file first of all i will write the css for start okay so here you are getting confused like why i'm writing css for start that i will explain you later okay so first of all the css property i will write padding zero and margin is also zero okay and star means guys it is root okay and now i will write the css for body tag so body and here i will write color okay color is triple f this color code is for white color okay and now background color so here you can use two things background color or only background both are same i will suggest to use background and the color code i will write triple one this is similar like black okay and here here just i will write font family okay so here you can write any font family but i will choose this one okay and this body and start tag difference i will now explain star means root root means this css property will be applicable from here but whatever css i have written inside this body tag those will be applicable from body tag to end of the body tag okay that is the difference i hope it is clear if you have any doubt so i already said you can write in the comment section or you can connect me in instagram there you can write me your doubt okay i will try to explain okay now i will come to the index.html file and first of all i will copy this section tag okay and here another thing i want to clear for beginner like when we write the css for class name so that time we use dot and when we write the css for id so that time we use hashtag but when we write the css for tags like section is the tag deep is the tag h2 tag those are the tag okay so that time we don't use hashtag or dot okay only simply we write this one section so here i will write the property is width 100 percent okay and the mean height so mean height is 100 vh okay and now here i will write display flex okay and here i will write justify content center and align item center justify content this one center and align item is center and guys if you don't know about the flex property okay this one so you can see my 
another video there i have just explained about the flex i mean i have the particular video about flex okay so you can watch this thing okay and now guys here i will write the css for box so i will come to the html and here i will copy this class name box so this one i will use dot because i already told like when we use class so that time we use dot okay so this one i will write transform and here i will write translate z okay and here i will write 20 pixel and after that here i will write transform style so transform style is preserve 3d this one okay and now here another css property i will write width width is 300 pixel and height is also 300 pixel okay and now here i will write the border radius is for 20 pixel and now display flex and after that here i will write flex wrap flex wrap this one flex wrap is wrap and after that here i will write place item place item here i will write place item okay center this one and now now i will add box shadow okay box shadow so zero then three pixel okay so first of all zero pixel and then three pixel and after that here i will write six pixel and the color i will add rgba okay so here the color i will add black color okay zero here also zero and this one also zero okay and this one is for opacity so opacity is 0 0.2 okay this one is done and the background color i will add now so background here this one and the background color i will add linear gradient okay so the gr linear gradient color to right okay to right and then color code is has c b 2 d 3 e okay means this color will be applicable from right okay this gradient color comma and when it will go to the left of this box so this color will be this one uh, e f 473 this one okay now i will just save and i will show you this view you can see it is looking like this okay now i will add the css for h2 tag okay so width is 100 percent okay and now here i will add the font size it's 28 pixel and after that text align center and letter spacing i will add so text align is center means it will come to the middle and here i will add that is letter spacing so here i will add letter spacing is two pixel okay and text transform text transform is uppercase and now another css property and that one will be the last one that is transform transform translate z okay this one and here i will write 50 pixel i will do save and now i will just replace okay see this text is in now middle okay and now i will come to the js part for the animation thing okay so here the js part i will write inside this index.html file just above of the end of body tag okay means here this is end of the body tag and just here i will write so now here first of all i will take an variable let you can use var keyword as well for taking this variable so let card equals to document okay dot query selector query selector so in instead of query selector you can write uh, get element by class name also you can write anything okay if you are uh, used to document dot get element by class name so you can write that one also okay 
so this one done and now here i will write document dot add event listen okay so the add event listener that is mouse move means when i will move the mouse so that time this animation will be applicable okay and here i will write comma and function function and when we write the function so that time we use parenthesis okay and curly braces so this is done and inside this function i will pass one event that is e okay and now here i will write let okay this one and the variable name y axis this one equals to here inside this variable just i will write window dot inner width inner width means this one will be whole of our window means this one this page actually okay this window dot inner width it will return our width of the window okay so here i will just divide by 2 and then minus e dot page x okay page x means guys it will return our mouse pointer i mean when i will move my mouse here so mouse pointers position it will return okay and it will return like this okay i mean width wise and when i will write page y so that time it will return my mouse pointer position height wise means vertical and horizontally okay i hope guys it is clear if you have any doubt so you can write in the comment section again i am saying okay and the, now i will write let here i will write a axis and here i will write a axis and this one i will write y axis Okay, those are the variable name. By the way, you can write anything that is not mandatory. You can write anything. Okay. And now here I will paste this one. And here instead of X, I will write here Y. Means it will just horizontal and vertically it will provide. Okay. And now this one I will divide by 50. And this one I will divide by 25. And now here I will write cart. Cart means the variable, this one. Okay. So cart dot style. Style dot transform. Okay. So cart dot style dot transform. Here I will write the transform property is that is first of all I will add the backtick sign. Okay. And I will close the backtick sign. And this backtick sign you will get above the tab key in your keyboard if you don't know because i already said i'm making this video for beginner also and now the property i will write that is rotate y and after that parenthesis dollar and i will close this parenthesis and here i will add curly braces and just i will paste this variable and here i will write degree okay means it will move this degree i mean how many value how much value i will get here so that value it will move up to this degree okay so now here i will write rotate x and here i will write dollar same thing curly braces okay degree and here i will paste this value okay so this one is done and i will write the same and now i will come to the browser and if it is once so here you can see now it start to move okay so this way you can make this animation and and this way you can make this animated card hope guys you have enjoyed this video if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and if you want to get more updates, so please subscribe my channel as well.